Joe thought it broke yeah. and it was in the boy. I have to sell him that. My father always did. He didn't mind it. Any time he came up to get him, it was all right. I guess it's the same thing as disappointed. So he was sort of spoiled, you know. Then he had another son after that. So then he went into the, uh, the First World War. He was only 16 and he enlisted. So of course that was sort of heartbreak. So then when it came to be, he had to go to France and he got a leave. And he signed this song. She's taking a walk. So it's not the song. Last night I had a sweet, sweet dream. I dreamt I saw my dear old home. And oh, how grand it all that song for my mother. And of course they all started to cry and over there they don't say crying, they say greeting. Yeah, like a Christmas card, you're right, greeting. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's why they called it the Sherry Greeting song. Yeah, but then Who's tell this? them that when he was wounded. Then when he was wounded, you know, this, you're not going to believe. But I was so older I right believe. Well, you were the youngest. He was 16. I was born in 1904, and the war was when? 1916. What a story. So you were 12. 12. And going to school, we were miles we had to walk to school. There was no buses, there no trains, there no way we had to walk. I would to leave about 8 o'clock in the morning to get there at 9. So on first Friday, my mother and I started to make what we call the Nine Fridays. We go to confession Thursday night, and the first Friday of the month you go to communion. And you offer it up for something you like. And Har and I were on our way to confession for the first of the Nine Fridays. And she said to my mother, was, she wasn't as old as I am, she was only half my age when she died. But in those days, she was like old. You know, like all I can remember, I was grey wavy hair. So she says on her way down, we to walk a bit to the church, and she says, Jane, you'll make the nine Fridays, I know. I, I'm sad them, but I don't know if I'll finish them. So on the nine Friday, my mother got a telegram, my brother was, she said, I will make it that Michael gets something to take him out of the war. And on the nine Friday, he was anything in his room. So, I mean, that's, that's and when story. he came home, 
Didn't she sing that song to him? When no, he sang it when he was leaving. Yeah. Oh. When he was leaving, they got to leave before we went to France. And we knew when you go to France, they were going to be in the fight line, you know. Mm -hmm. And he, he sang that before he left. And that's why we were all crying. <laughs> so that's why my father called it the Sherry Greeton song. It's a good song. Yeah, it's a yeah. pretty song. Pretty song. Yeah. Yeah. So how, did you, how did your mom and dad die? My mother had cancer. My father died of a heart attack. And how old? He was a... My mother was... I was 15. My mother was 43 when I was born. 15, not make her about 15. 58 when she died. And my father died about two years after that, so he'd be about 62. Mm. So he was two years older than her. Yeah, they die young and of course they die young here too. Mm -hmm. Well, like hey, that. when your I numbers up, your numbers up. Yeah. No, you're than what they did right. then. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You know, Jones. now they found, you know, new... Well, we all lived at that. I can always remember yeah. saying my older sister was 20 years older than me. And she was... They only beat me in this game, Mike, too. And, and Kay was 75 when she died. Yeah, well, when, you know, when she was sick of all the time, I think, well, she let, you know, she lived a good long life, and she had 11 children, too. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what gets me. I tried to tell you kind of a lot of children because it's not good for you. And I don't know Andy that ever died at an early age without all the children. My mother had 11, my older sister had 11. And your mother... Raised a couple of foster children oh, yeah, too. Oh yeah, she was always taking some well, no, to, to, to raise it. Mm -hmm. Tell me about James Sherry. Who was I telling Patrick? My brother Patrick. Oh, he said, yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I never thought. heard of any James Sherry. I said, yeah. yeah. Well, Uncle Eddie had a James Sherry. Yeah, but he didn't know that your mother raised a child yeah. from childhood. Well, my I don't baby. know whose child it oh, was. Oh, Granny was telling me outside. That's yeah. That's I don't good. even wow. know who my. Uh, we don't know whose child it was. I only knew, during the war, this friend of ours, maybe a friend of mother, in fact, went to the ammunition factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this girl was there, and this girl had a baby, and she was married. This is during World War so I. Had a, no, a hard time, you know. So, of course, she told my mother the story, and my mother adopted the baby. It was only two years old. I was only 10. I was 10, and she had me when she was 43. But she was going to, uh, she adopted this boy. And that's the one you were telling me about outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he took their name, and his name was James Sherry. And he's in the States now? Yes, no, he came with the, my okay. sister Hannah. Well, do you we, know where he's at? I don't know where he's at. He visited me once. Pick up the card. And that house I'm in now. And he's a handsome, well. Well, why don't we put it on Unsolved Mysteries? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, put it on Unsolved He's done all right so far, I mean. He'd be 78 old. now, right? Yeah, I'm 10 years older than him. Well, he might be still living. Right. And he always worked out in the farms, like out in the country. Somebody moved these cars. And when he came to visit me, he had long hair. And he was a nice looking kid. Very nice looking kid. He's a nice looking young man. And uh, he only stayed, you know, the day and then stayed at dinner. And, uh, the only thing is, uh, he knows where. He knows that he's been in that house. Lives. He visited once where we are now. When we're not there first. Yeah. So if he chose to get in touch with them, he would know where they live. He'd come and visit. Hmm. But she was always doing that. Some had a baby, like. You know, and her father and mother was against them and put them out or something, she'd take the baby in. Sure, they, she raised the baby until he was about six or seven. And then when the girl took him back, she, everybody in the house was out. Oh, yeah. And then it, that was when she got to change her, they were all against it. They didn't want her to get him, you know, because that thing. With the other boy, they all cried yeah. and everything. And the mother but took she didn't want this one taken from her. So that's why she adopted him. Well, she adopted the other two. No, I don't think she adopted him. She just took care of him for her. Mm. Well, he had, was like it was our family, and she was raised in our house and everything. And he, I guess it was about six or seven when the mother took him in. Everybody was hard for him. Oh, you know, God. That was before my time, and now you know the story.
But he was a nice person. He was a nice kid. He had light brown, real blonde hair. I must can say. Here's how you do it. Oh, gave me the pictures. I gave her the pictures. See how mother then took them. When my mother died, my father died, and then he went to I went to live with my sister. So then she took to the show and she adopted him and brought him to this country with her. Well she had all kinds of trouble with him and she brought him here. He used to wouldn't go to school and then he'd go up to South Street and play with his car kids. He had a awful job forever running up South Street looking for him. Now who was that? James Sherry. James Sherry. Oh, James the, the, this yeah. doctor Anne Hannah brought yeah. James Sherry with her. Because she had taken him when my mother died. Oh, God. We were trying to find him. <laughs> yeah, so she brought him with her when she exactly. brought her children. You put it on Unsolved Mysteries. And they, they do. They find people. I know. He may have a family. And you know, some reporter got a hold of him at one time. And they had yeah, this big long right up in the bullet and about this boy that was brought over here from Scotland. And he was homesick for his green hills in Scotland. This kid didn't know nothing about green hills. <laughs> Came from a mining town. <laughs> Not only that, he was too young to know anything like that, you know. He was only about to eight, ten. Well, he was about 18. He was only about. Eight, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Aunt Hannah brought him over. Yeah, it was that hard two boys. Uh-huh. And I like you to see the, 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 the pictures in the passport. And it's hard in the three boys, and they've all got white tuck and make uh, sweaters on. It's a real nice picture. Do you I have it? I gave it to Nan. I gave oh, it to Nan. Yeah. Yeah. And I gave her the one with her father on it. And and your father on it in the back of your heart the day after your father came here. Yeah. So I'd like to hear a copy maybe that one too. Yeah. She has them. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's after, you know, everything was burned. Yeah, it's a shame you couldn't have them on the island. Because I, I saw the certificate down yeah, in the South it's Building. Neat. Well, it's not, it's not up yet, though. The wall's not going to be up until October. It's not oh, on the wall okay. yet. Now, Ellis Island is open, but their name isn't on the wall yet. Won't be until we all October got a because coffee for Christmas. I said, my God, I never even thought of it. You could have gone up and used Fran's apartment. He wasn't there all week. That was a neat idea. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice for you. You'd have to go in the yeah, they would. No, you know, take the kids, you know.